Three months after living in Tampa, um, I got laid off, and myself and my daughter, um, we stayed in our car. In the daytime, she would go to school, and I would look for work. And then at nighttime, I turned it into our living quarters. And I told my daughter, and her first question was, well, how long? I told her it's not going to be long or whatever. And then she went into, well, where are we going to stay or where are we going to be? And I was just like, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I know that I, I wasn't supposed to be in the car. Um, I thought they was going to take her away from me. I love her. And um, I'm proud of her. And I know this haven't been the easiest. When I was down to my last little bit of money, and when I say little, I mean little, like maybe like $8 or something. And I just was like, I don't know how I'm going to feed us, how I'm going to wash clothes, how I'm going to get you to school. I don't know. So then I was referred to the children's home and their services. And um, I met Miss Vivian. I call her my fairy godmom, okay? <laughs> That's what I call her. But um, she's helped me look for an apartment, find an apartment. She even helped me with the down payment for it. She helped me with gaining gainful, stable employment. Imagining what my life would be like right now without the help of the children's home. Um, I don't think I would hate my daughter. I imagine for myself to become self-sufficient again without the children's home. Although their help has really been great, um, I just, I'm ready to just pow, do it on my own. I'm ready for that. I realized um, what wonderful work has gone on over the last five and a half years. And it's not just on the part of us as foster parents, but it's also the children's home and the support that they provided and the things that we've gone through as a team. You can't be that kid's father, that kid's mother, but you can connect with them on their level. And, you know, you're able to get up and the next day you see them come around that corner, instead of being angry, they have a smile because they've made a connection. That is rewarding. My heart breaks when I see some of these kids because you can imagine what they've gone through. The one that's hardest to love is the one that I love the most. Um, that's the one that I want to reach the most because um, I feel that's the one who needs you the most and needs you to be strong enough to look past all of the anger and look past all of the disappointment and look past their feeling inadequate and not feeling as though they can count and finding something good inside them that they can appreciate, that they can learn to like about themselves. What I imagine for my kids living in my home is that they grow emotionally so that they can express their feelings um, without fear, that they grow academically and educationally so that they apply themselves and try to gain as much knowledge as possible to prepare themselves for the future. Um, thank you, Mr. Mike and Ms. Bonnie, for helping me um, with my homework. 
thank you for taking care of me and helping me out with things and feeding me dinner and taking me to school. They're caring, loving, and gentle. When I first came here, um, we came at 9.30 before staff had left. I was scared to death. I didn't know what to feel. The night staff, Miss Debbie, she told us it was going to be all right because we're safe now. I had a lot of abuse in my life, and I didn't trust my parents, and I just didn't feel like trusting people. Miss Jamie, my counselor, taught me many things. She taught me how to dress. She taught me how to play games. She taught me how to be, be friendly. She taught me how to have friends, most of all. The children's home is the best in the world, and I wish I would have lived here all my life, but I got a new family coming up. It feels great. I, I love it. I love being with the family. I love everything about them. I can't believe I even called their mom and dad. It's like, wow. I haven't called no one that in a long time. It's like, I finally found my family. Finally found someone who loved me. You need a family throughout your life to help you and nurture you. When I leave here, it's gonna be sad, emotional. The children's home got us ready for a new life with our adoption family. What I imagine for myself is a lot of friendship, a lot of good things in my life, but most of all, I imagine me being a mother, having a big, big family, doing good things in life, going to college, doing many, many things.